Hi, and welcome to Impact Driven Star with Tilly Morgan. Uh, today we're doing a random three minutes again. Um, apologies for the video quality, it's very overcast today, so my light is not great. Um, so today, please like, so follow, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Today we are doing the castle. So we, I watched this last night and it just brought so many, many memories back. If you're Australian, then you've probably watched The Castle. This is classic, classic Australian cinema. Really low budget, really cleverly written, um, and it really shows that 90s, you know, middle class Australiana really, really well. Uh, so let's do it. So we're starting at the beginning of the movie. Um, I wanted to get as many of the characters in as possible and I think this, so this early three minutes I think really shows that so let's do it. And what's that stuff on top? Icing sugar. How is it kids? Now, why would you want to go out to a restaurant when this keeps coming up night after night? I have two brothers and a sister, all older than me. Steve is in a... Just, oh my God. <laughs> all right, if you grew up in an Australian household that watched this, then you've probably had that actually play out around the thing. We're going, oh, oh what's that, doll? Yeah, that's what you've done with it, doll. What are you done with it? <laughs> So good. It's just so heartwarming, this movie. I love it. So instantly, it's everything about this just screams that kind of suburban, you know, low middle class Australia work and, working family, blue, blue collar family. Um, not stylish at all. I think. Uh, you know, they haven't been overseas or anything like that. I just, his hair is just so great. <laughs> it just looks so bad. We grew up going to school. This is like those kind of, oh, that long fringe, just, ah, oh, it's so bad. It's so bad, I love it. Okay. An apprentice mechanic, but he spends most of his time reading the trading post. He just loves yeah. buying and trading. Ergonomic chairs, four of them. What's he want? 180. He's dreaming. Him and Dad really know bargains. Steve is also an ideas man. That's why Dad calls him the ideas man. He has lots of ideas. It's a motorcycle helmet with a built-in brake light. You are an ideas man, Steve. Dad thinks all of us are tremendous, but I guess it's no secret that Tracy's his favourite. How do I... Just Tracy, oh my god, the hairdresser. <laughs> I, I just have to point out that one of the things I love about this film is, and I think what we should take away, especially like going into now, like 2020, is like Daryl's outlook on life. It's just so good, it's so positive. He finds good in, you know, pretty much everything and everyone. Um, even if, like, looking in, it's like you kind of go, what's so great about that? It doesn't matter. It's what you make of it and how you think of it. It's, like, so great. So, anyway. Um, <laughs> back to Trace. <laughs> the hairdresser. It's just so classic over the top. You actually find that this style in that silhouette is actually coming back in. So, um... So what is it, like 20, oh God, yeah, like 23 years later, um, this is what he's come back into style. So, and it's really good because these ones are actually, you find a lot of conscious brands that do actually use these styles. Um, so you can actually do this in a really mindful and good way as well, so but I really like Tracy's look um, in terms of that, you know, 97, obviously that kind of style. It's over the top, quirky, slightly the mom jeans um, and a bit daggy. Like apart from like if you were to put 
different hairstyle, different makeup on that, quite easily fit into now. And some, maybe probably different shoes. Oh, I can totally see some really cool, like chunky shoes going in with this outfit. But I really like this. It's a really strong, powerful, quirky. She shows a lot of personality in all her outfits, um, which is like, you know, Trace like they're all, all the kids have this beautiful, um, especially the ones at home, <laughs> this beautiful kind of like naive, happy quality because they've been brought up in such a beautiful, beautiful household that's full of love. So, so you do have this beautiful bubbliness about what she wears because um, she's like very happy obviously just getting married blah blah, blah. but you have this so the soft colors in this one is very feminine feminine the shapes are really feminine but she's also got this like beautiful edge that also works in with the social times um, I love the frill around the shoulders it's really strong um, but still playful oh, I look dad dad just loves her you look beautiful Thanks, Dad. Oh. Tracy is the only girl in the family, yeah. apart from Mum and Gran. Tracy constantly gave Dad proud moments. Once she was on the Price is Right. It was such an exciting afternoon for us. None of us could actually believe it was Tracy up there with Larry Emdia. $45,000 worth of prizes. So again, going back to this one, like the same kind of that would easily fit into today. I know that um, quite a few brands have this kind of style now that are, again, conscious. So if you are looking for brands to kind of pull off this look again, like jeans, there's so many awesome brands doing, um, you know, ethical jeans these days, uh, like monkey jeans, outline denim, um, more. Uh, and then, Generally, this, especially if you want this type of fabric, I would be looking for labels that are using dead fabric, dead stock, because they're still, they're like reclaiming, re saving uh, fabric from landfill, but they'll still have that like extra bit, and they're usually a bit more affordable than brands that are. Um, at the moment, producing from scratch sustainable materials that have those big bright colours as well. So, uh, I really like Tracy's style, and oh my god, that tie and oh, uh. the luggage <laughs> needs to be more than six hundred and forty. It needs to be less than seven hundred and forty. The she almost won the two. lot. Go! Oh! If only she'd known the price of the luggage. So sorry about that. Did you have but she still way? managed to come home with a tumble dryer and drill set. She is the only member of the Kerrigan family who'd had a tertiary education. Dad reckons the day Trace told him she'd been accepted into Sunshine TAFE hairdressing was about the proudest day of his life. I knew he thought about that a lot. There were only two places he did his thinking, in the pool room and out the back, looking up at the power lines. Yep, Dad's a real... <laughs> you could learn so much from Daryl, <laughs> like in terms of how you really take on life and look at it. He, he reflects. He is grateful for what he's got and for future. He's positive. He but he still fights for what he believes in and his family. So, so good. Lifestyle, awesome. Um, in terms of his fashion style, really, really typical dad style um so that those kind of like woolen jumpers with those bit of very cap and kim like that's how i can explain sal and dale like very cap and kim start style um and just it's just utility nothing special um he still looks neat and smart so he still takes pride in his appearance for what he thinks is a really, really awesome appearance. Um, but it's all within that, you know, that strict budget with it, which they end up being under. Thinker. But the proudest day was the day she got married to this nice guy called Con. He is an accountant, but also a fanatical kickboxer. Now Trace has taken up kickboxing too. 
Oh my god, where is Eric Banner these days? Oh, he looks so young! So you can tell us a spit. <laughs> just love it in the background. Look at the sleeves and the bow tie. So great. The blue arch. Oh, Captain Holt would be just so happy with those blue arches. <laughs> um, so you can tell it's a special occasion uh, because her hair is extra done up. It's 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 had the rolls in. It's very special occasion. <laughs> The fringe, oh, there's so much volume, and you would not want to stand near a heater in this dress. It would just melt. Um, so really typical, very, really sweet, you know, princess neckline here. Um, all the beading and those sleeves are just, at least it's not mutton chop sleeves, actually. It looks like she's got... A bit of details down the sleeves here which is looks quite nice actually um, but very typical of this era whoever decided that this was going to be the fashion um, and whoever helped keep that fashion in and actually take it across the world I don't like you it's a horrible horrible statement <laughs> it's it's interesting because it does because it uses that like opposite amount of um, fabric and everything it does give the sense especially with all the the beading and those details it does give the sense of this is a very special dress so it's a wedding dress you can tell it's not a you know really really expensive but you can tell that it's a really special day and they don't do it too often oh look at the gold bow tie oh it's so good so good Ah, oh, I hate those sleeves. Dad could not get the smile off his face, and he gave a speech that brought the house down. Now, as the bride's parents, I don't mind paying for the wedding, but could you please stop busting all them plates? <laughs> that, that being a Greek... Oh, my God. Just... Oh. Look at the sparkles in the hair. It's just... And the, the blue and the shock. So this will all be polyester, all be polyester, the sleeves, everything is really fun, like, but damn, I remember, you know, going to church with cousins and stuff like that, and you would see that style, and see, like, the old stuff, this is what they wore. Customer, <laughs> I suppose as a father, you'd like your daughter to marry one of your own, and let's not beat around the bush. The Greeks have a reputation. At first, the Metropolises thought he was having a go at <laughs> Look at the contrast for the Metropolises, the Greeks. This is very, you know, the Greek in Australia. Like that fur jacket. It's so great. So she is also, you can tell it's a very special day, but you can tell they're coming from completely different um, family and cultural backgrounds in the sense of how you show and dress up for that. So the Kerrigans, um, who are, you know, their sense of style and fashion is going over the top of that. The polyester, the colour, bright, you know, the big blue eyes. Um, the boys with all their, their stuff on. Where the Greeks, you know, completely different in how they show. So they're in very, like, the muted colours. The fur jacket. Oh, my God, that looks amazing. Just those earrings as well like it looks just oh. but dad was just saying how much he thought it con I never thought anyone could love our trace as much as me selling the boys but there is another person con smart polite fit as a fiddle and anyone who loves our trace as much as us deserves our love so we love you, Con. We love you. Thank you, and uh, Calispira. <laughs> so I think they're probably like in the, the local community hall or something like that, celebrating that, which is so great. So great. Um, 
so yeah, that's three minutes with the castle. Very 90s. And just such a good movie. I haven't watched it for so long. It was just so heartwarming to watch last night. Uh, so I definitely recommend it as a lockdown movie to watch, no matter where you are. If you want to get a look into Australian culture, then do it. You'll probably be just staring at the screen going, <laughs> classic. Please like, subscribe, follow. See you next time.